Before we start building our lead capture form, let's talk about structure. Your type form structure ensures that you're asking the right questions at the right time. You want to ask yourself, what do your leads need from you? Focus on why they're getting in touch. What information do you need from your leads? Ask the essential questions that'll help you understand if they're a good fit. And finally, what are the next steps? What can they expect as a follow-up and when? And then there's the content. Here are a few things to consider. Only ask the key questions. Think about the critical questions you need answers to so that you can hop on a first call. We'll stick only to the essentials to keep our form under six questions. Be conversational. Use a light and conversational tone without being too chatty. You want to keep the conversation short and sweet. Pay attention to where your type form will go. This might affect how you structure it, like whether or not you need a welcome screen or the tone you'll use. Keeping this in mind, let's get to it and create our form. In this example, we are creating a lead capture form for a marketing agency's website. This will be the first interaction that we have with potential customers, so we want to make a good impression. We'll start with a multiple choice question listing the most popular services that we offer. People have landed on our website looking for these services, so it makes sense to put this question first. We also want to add an option in case they're just not sure what they're looking for. We'll set it up so that they can choose more than one option, which you can do in question settings. We'll also set this question as required. Next, we'll add a follow-up question for each option they choose to get a bit more context about their needs. If they say they need help with a website, SEM, or their brand, we'll add a website question so that they can add a link. This question type checks for a valid URL, so it's better to use this as opposed to the short text question. We'll leave this question optional and add some text in the description to let people know that they can skip this question if they don't have a website. If they say they need help with social media, we'll send them to a long text question where they can share their social media handles. Later, we'll set up logic that sends people to one of these questions depending on their answer to question one. To help qualify our leads, we'll add an opinion scale question asking about budget. Here we'll put under $2,000 at one end of the scale and over $10,000 at the other end of the scale. This gives us a better idea of how much they invest in their marketing efforts. Finally, we want to capture their contact details. It's best to leave questions like this towards the end and put questions that are more important to our potential customers at the beginning. We'll add a short text question here to ask for their name. Last name isn't mandatory at this point. We can get it later when we follow up. Then we'll add an email question. And we'll use the description again to give people more context on how we'll use their data. You can substitute this for a phone number question, but only ask for the information that you really need. You'll gain trust with your leads by not asking for too much upfront and you're more likely to get responses if you keep it short and sweet. And now before we finish, we'll add a long text question for any additional comments that our potential customers might have. And we'll leave this one as optional. Finally, we'll add our endings. This lets our leads know what'll happen next. We'll add two endings depending on how they answered the type form. One will take them to schedule a meeting, while the other one will be for a follow-up email. In the first ending, we're going to give them the option to schedule a meeting with us. We'll also personalize the type form by recalling information from question five, where we ask for their name. You can do this by hitting the at symbol. This lets us add a bit of a personal touch 
and will show their name on the ending once they've submitted the type form. We'll change the button text and add a meeting link to the button here so that they can book a call. This will send them to our HubSpot calendar where they can find a time that works for them. In the second ending, we'll tell them that we'll send a follow-up email within the next 48 hours. We'll change the button text and add a link to our website where they can learn more about our services. We'll also remove the social sharing icons as they're not necessary here. And that's ending number two done. Now, how do we make sure they go down the right question path and see the right ending? Q logic.